ACIR UFO Association UAP Associates Investigative Reporters Researchers Associates and Peer-to-Peer -peer Reviews Our stories rely on our memories to write history. I came to this planet December 26, 1951. My first memory of someone who could be seen by me but not my mother is one who educated me at two years in my room. I gave him a name of Cleo or Leo or two different beings. This was a small being and I still have memories of this as I was trained to learn. This became a way of life. I was taken up 1954 and thanks to the memory, I can say it was my first out of body experience. My memory is seeing my body sleeping on the ground. I have lived with this observer outside of my body. I learned we are more than just the learning brain and mind behind our eyes. This was an important lesson. In 1957 the Russian Sputnik came over us and me and my family stood out in the street along with neighbors to see it. I suspect it was announced on the news on the TV. While in the second grade one contracted hepatitis A. The infectious disease control people did not know how I got it. No one in my school or city had contracted it. I died and saw angels during the blood cleaning when I had turned yellow. The hospital in Monroe, Louisiana did bring up from New Orleans, Louisiana one of the first dialysis machines. I returned but saw two angels with a message that I would live and learn and do great things. I then willed my family to take me to White Sands, New Mexico. I campaigned over a year the whole time I could not walk due to weakness. My mother was against the car travel over Route 66. No interstate then. My grandmother finally asked my uncle and aunt to take me in their car and she would go and chaperone me on my quest. My uncle called his family in New Mexico so we could stay with his Indian family on the reservation. I went to White Sands and met my uncle who worked at Los Alamos. He took us all to White Sands Missile Range. Then we had a picnic in the White Sand Dunes. While the adults stayed at the car me and two cousins went to climb the sand dunes. At that time when we reached the top, the two cousins a boy about 10 and a girl about 12 said, look a flying saucer. It flew overhead and just as it crested the top of our dune overhead as it passed, it put the two cousins to sleep. I was left to go down the dune to the other side alone. There was a flying saucer silver with a door open and a man in the door whying and waving me to hurry.